Hi, hello, welcome to VHD Basics. Today we are going to implement demultiplexer in Verilog HDL. A demultiplexer is called DMUX or data distributor and its operation is quite opposite to the multiplexer because it's it is an inverse to the multiplexer. The multiplexer is a many to one circuit whereas demultiplexer is one to many circuit. By using demultiplexer, the transmission of data can be done through one single input to number of output lines. Generally, demultiplexer are used in decoder circuit and boolean function generator. In this example, I am going to implement 1 to 8 demultiplexer. A circuit diagram of 1 is 8 dmux where A and select are the input and Y will be the output of the dmux. Width of the select is n bit means width of the output y will be 2 power n bits so here in this example if you see width of the select is nothing but 3 bit so output width is 2 power 3 is nothing but 8 so we can uh, check one more example if we are going to implement 1 is to 4 max means select width of the select will be uh, 2 bit and output width is 4 2 power 2 equal to 4 this is how we need to calculate the width of the output and select this is the truth table of uh, 1 is 8 dmux a uh, if a is 1 and if select is 0 means a will be assigned to y of 0 if select is 1 means a will be assigned to y of 1 like that if you see if select is 6 means a will be assigned to y of 6 if select is 7 means a will be assigned to y of 7 like this we need to assign the a to the output and if uh, input a is 0 means irrespective of select we can assign all the uh, bit of output you can assign to 0 this is the truth table of 1 is 8 demultiplexer now if you refer the code input a and select is 2 down to 0 3 bit and output reg of 8 bit 7 down to 0 so in the always block if you refer Initially, I am assigning y equal to 0 and then if you with respect to the select in the case statement, if select is 0, a will be assigned to y of 0. If select is 1, a will be assigned to y of 1 like that. If select is 7, a will be assigned to y of 7. Since here we are using a case statement we need to end that with the end case now i am going to explain with the test bench so this is the dmux 1 is 8 test bench so here if you see input a and select i am declaring as wire and output y i am declaring as a wire and line number 6 to 10 i am instantiating the dmux 1 is 8 and in this inside initial block uh, i am initially assigning a equal to 1 and i am uh, changing the select value from 1 to 7 with respect uh, for every 10 nanoseconds at the end i am making a to 0 now we can see this with respect to output waveform so this is the output waveform we can refer with the truth table so if a is high if select is 0 a will be assigned to y of 0 if you see the last bit of the y lsb bit of the y is assigned as whatever present in the a if select is 1 a will be assigned to y of 1 if select is 2 and a will be assigned to y of 2 like that if select is 7 a will be assigned to y of 7 if a equal to 0 
irrespective of the select all the 8 bits will be 0 so whatever result we are getting in the waveform that is matching with the truth table hope you like this one is the dmux implementation thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe this channel for more video